Anthony David is name aka Chidav and today guess what it's, it's another exciting day behind me you are seeing SAG so there's another amazing project I am going to be working on and it's going to be planting yams and sacks and that is what we're going to be doing literally on this video I'm going to be showing you how to go about planting yam in sacks so everything you need to know about yam planting in sacks is what we are going to be discussing about and looking out in this video so before we dive into that i need to right away smash on the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet turn on your notification bell and do what to like my video so guys go nowhere i'll be right back so guys welcome to to what you are seeing right now as you can see we have all sacks all properly arranged that is the first thing you have to ensure you do you have to envision what the field is going to look like when it is well set up so we have all sacks all arranged so we arrange them in group of four so we have about 20 sacks in a row and the the reason why we're doing this is we want to have the field well at line so that it will be easy for us to easily apply nutrients to easily manage the field once the yam starts growing so we have to fill up this sack not halfway but we have to fill it up completely so i'm going to show you i'm going to show you a place where the sacks are being filled up to the right level so they are being filled up because it is yam because it is yam so yam needs a whole whole lot of space to grow in and that is why we are filling it up to the brim as you can see that is what the guys are doing then uh, another thing we did was you know the whole idea is because we want to arrange them properly it will be wise to fill up the sacks to the brim because bringing them taking them and then arranging them in position will be a bit difficult if they are all filled up so that was the strategy we used we said we're going to fill it up halfway and then complete the filling at the location and that was what i just showed to you so i'm going to take you around to, to a very massive project we are having for the yam cultivation so planting of yam in sack is the new so we have over a thousand sacks already over a thousand sacks and we not even used up to up to a plot for this and you already having more than what you should get from even a plot if you are making use of your heap so that's the advantage of planting planting in sack so we still have a whole whole lot of them here so i told you it's a massive project yeah you can see all the way down there we have our sacks all the way down there we have our sacks so it's, it's massive it's massive guys so i'm gonna i'm gonna take you guys down through to how you need to prepare your then the yam seedlings and then the planting proper intact so that is that is it so this this we are going to be incorporating a bit of manure into into this soil yes we are going to be incorporating a bit of manure into the soil so that at the end of the day the plants are going to start on a very good note but most of the time we tend to hold on but of course as you can see this is uh, wood shaving coupled with yeah, wood shaving and manure so this will be good for what we want to do all right hello guys we are here to look at the yam seeds we are going to be planting so i'm going to be showing you some things you need to consider when preparing your yam seeds so stay good go nowhere the first thing we did was to take out all the hair from the yam seeds so the hair or the roots that it, that was around the yam we had to take it out so that we have a neat yam because you are not supposed to plant it with the hair all around it it 
doesn't make sense that way. So we need to take it out and ensure that the yam is neat before we plant. So that was the first thing we did. So now I'm going to be showing you how to split this yam seed into what we have here because this ones have already been split so i'm going to split this whole yam seed i'll show you how to go about it and what you need to look out for so that you do it the right way stay glued into mini set so the first is i'm to ensure that i give room for the yam eye which is going to be starting point so this would be able to plant one side and then another one here this will be able to plant another side and then this will plant another side so if i'm splitting this now so what i've done is I've just been able to what to split this into smaller bits, which is I'm referring to as the set. So this is not the this this I am seed. This is not the whole yam. So I would have shown you how to also split into mini sets using the whole yam. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that very quickly. I'm gonna do that very quickly. Okay, let's say we're using this tuber. You need to ensure that might not be able to use this because of the wound it has because there's already damage to the eye of the yam so we might just go ahead to plant the pull of this yam it's already having decay so we need to ensure we open up we split up this we split up this and take it out so with this now we can also split into two if i want but I'll, i'm going to leave it this way so as to give it higher chance of germination then this also i'm going to cut out this and i'm also going to leave this this way so as to give it higher chance of germination so after doing this i would ensure i then dip this into my solution solution of insecticide and fungicide so as to kill as to prevent any pest infestation because of this open so your yam you have to pay attention to the yam and ensure that whatever yam seed you are using is disease free it doesn't have any form of disease or decay like this one now has um, has a bit of decay in it you just have to take it out ensure that whatever yam seed you are using is not infested because once you plant an infested yam seed definitely at the end of the day you are going to get an infested an infested yam so ensure that the seeds are disease free ensure that the seeds are disease free ensure that the are disease free i'm trying to get those disease ones we just took out are you seeing this ones here they are diseased look at them here they are already having a form of decay we cannot use this as a seed look at this one so ensure that anything having any of these you take them out you don't plant this because is not going to give you a good result at the end of the day so after having caught the yam seeds now we are then going to dip them into a fungicide and insecticide solution and allow them for about five to ten minutes so that is the number of time we are going to allow them so we'll show you and you learn this is what we're doing we had to improvise because we do not have we do not have a sieve so we are making use of the sack we've already perforated the sacks and we are going to dip this into the sack i think we have a whole lot of this so we have to reduce it so that it will be able to enter into the sack okay so now we've reduced it and we want to dip it into the solution of the fungicide and insecticide we are using the suspension method so we're going to allow it 
to suspend in the water for about five to ten minutes for about five to ten minutes so that is it we are gonna allow it to to suspend for about five to ten minutes in the water so we are gonna bring it out and allow it to drip allow it to drip allow it to drip allow it to drip so once the water drips off allow it to drip off that is the importance of using a sieve allow it to drip off allow it to drip off then you need to bring it and then spread them out you need to then spread them out ensure you spread them out spread them out to dry you have to spread them out spread them out to dry spread them out open the cut part you need to ensure that the cut part is facing up the cut part is facing up yeah so they have to dry the cut part is facing up the cut part is facing up so that they dry and will be ready for planting so the essence of this is to kill any form of uh, pest or any form of diseases that could be in the yam courts in the yam sets or mini sets now so as to allow the yam to then germinate without any any infestation so that's the essence of dipping it into the solution of the fungicide and then insecticide you can also use wood hash in place of this where you don't have an insecticide or a fungicide is still going to serve the same purpose so guys i'm going to be showing you how to plant this the first thing you ensure you don't make the cut part surface you don't allow it to face up this way you don't allow it to face up you make sure it is facing down this way you don't don't put don't slant it this way flat because the emergency is going to take place from any of the the eye which is going to be the point of emergency so you don't go too deep into the soil you just do a bit of hole and then you take your yam seed into it and then you cover you also have to ensure you mulch the yam seed you mulch it Watch it, you don't put too heavy much, just watch it a little bit. Hello, awesome people. That was all you needed to know about planting of yam in sack. So, yam is super lucrative in Nigeria, and if you live in the urban, you have no excuse for not planting. Get your sacks and then fill it with the rice soil, and then you are good to go right about now, guys. I need you to like hit on the subscribe button turn on your notification bell as well as like this video i'm gonna be keeping you updated with this yam project once this time imagine you get to see it so you get to see the progress of the yam in sacks right now two videos definitely are going to be appearing on your screen do well to smash on one of those videos and go watch the next content amazing content from chidav agricultural hub Bye for now guys, see you in my next video, peace.